money, the root of all evil. King Magrid sold out. Obsessed with the desire for wealth, he cut a dastardly deal with the ruler of evil. Now the Freel Empire is in shambles and you are chosen to save it. Free the kingdom's captive souls. Teach the king a thing or two about integrity. Rescue a beautiful maiden. Liberate an imprisoned inventory. You'll boldly traverse the six complex stages in this action RPG. An array of weapons, armor, and magic are at your disposal. After you revive the kingdom, you will confront Death Toll. Then make him pay. Soul Blazer, action RPG from Quintet, published by Enix, released August 1992. Um, what can I say? It is uh, we take the role of the master's servant to destroy monsters and release the captured souls of the world's inhabitant. Kind of a dungeon crawler y kind of thing, uh, where we um, kill a certain number of enemies or do a certain number of things. And from there, we uh, wake up, unlock, release people, buildings, animals, plants uh, that have been locked away by the evil. And doing so, we eventually rebuild the world. Isn't that great? Uh, our hero, Blazer, is a divine angel, deity, or lesser deity, perhaps even an avatar, uh, skilled with sword and possessing the ability to speak with any living thing and be understood. He battles the hordes of Death Tall with the assistance of his soul helpers. Kind of like an Illusion of Gaia thing. Uh, in fact, this ties into Illusion of Gaia, just based on one of the secret bosses in that game. Game journalists call consider it to be an unofficial trilogy with Illusion of Gaia and Terra Enigma. I... I'm down with that, but I kind of shoehorn Act Razor into that. I feel like Soul Blazer, Illusion of Gaia, Terra Enigma, and Act Razor are all really kind of the same universe, and it's just different time periods. There's not a lot to really back up that claim. Um, I don't know. It just it for me that's what makes sense. Okay, Quintet reported it sold. 200,000 copies in Japan, 70,000 in North America, and 25,000 in Europe, adding up to 295,000 sold worldwide. Famitsu gave it a 32 out of 40. Game Informer gave it 8.5, 8.75, and 8.5 out of 10. In the first issue, Game Fans to Reviewers gave it a 95 and 92%. EGM gave it an 8, 9, 8, and 8 out of 10, and gave it the Editor's Choice Gold Award. Compared it favorably with Link to the Past, with a reviewer stating that it's equally as challenging and more fun to play. Dragon gave it three and a half, and M Games gave it 7.8. That's three out of five, not three and a half, excuse me. Uh, I really like this game. I had never sat down and played through it all until I was doing basically the Soul Blazer trilogy. Um, so there's a Let's Play of Terranigma, Illusion of Gaia, and this over at the website, along with both Act Razor games. And yeah, no, I had a lot of fun playing this game. It's a little challenging. These quintet games are not easy. Uh, but it plays really well, and I really like the way they do the the unlock of the story and the progression of the game. I think it plots it really well, and it, it while it prevents you from doing a lot of skipping, um, there's not a lot to, that you would want to skip anyway, I guess. Does that make sense? Sure it does. And I remember uh, the underwater music being particularly good.